Hi guys! In this tutorial, we're talking about the ACES Color Science and how to work with it in a DaVinci Resolve. And pay close attention because this is the future of filmmaking. ACES is about to become a new standard color space in a cinematography, so let's take a look how to start working in the ACES color space. I'm gonna use DaVinci Resolve Studio 16.2, but of course everything is the same if you're using a free version of DaVinci. I have UHD new project here and two clips lined up and ready to go. The first clip is Ari ProRes footage recorded in Ari Log C, so flat image with a low contrast. It's a British astronomer Martin Rees interview. I was shooting this few months ago and that was a part of a documentary video for Design Museum in London. The second clip is a red footage from Weapon 6K Dragon Sensor. Color space is red white gamut RGB and gamma curve log 3G10. Nice slow motion sequence from the music video I was shooting last year. So to start working in the ACES color space, we need to click on our project settings. Make sure you are at a color management tab. Color space ACES CC and make sure you are using the latest version of ACES, which is 1.1. Since DaVinci can recognize most of the cameras using metadata, we don't need to change input transform. But of course, we need to set the output transform, which is gonna be standard rec 709 in this case. And I click save and have a look what happens. As we can see, the footage from Ari is looking overexposed a bit but nothing to be worried about. We can balance it by using curves. We apply an S-curve to whole Luma and by looking at scopes, we can easily judge where is the sweet point. Because we are working on ProRes footage with baked in white balance, we need to make sure it's free of any color cast. I'm used to increase saturation to max and by looking at the scopes I can see there is a bit of red cast. So now I'm gonna decrease temperature and adjust a touch of tint and here we go. Now we need to bring saturation back. I think the footage looking nice and we don't need to do anything else with it. Of course, we could add some notes to make it a bit more cinematic. But the main thing is to show you how easy ACES is to work with. And we don't need to add any other LUTs or transform notes to get REC 709. With RED R3D footage, we have more flexibility because it's a RAW. Let's go first to project settings and a configure red decoder. Camera row, row profile red, decode quality, full premium red, and depth of bit 16th. Go ahead and click save to have a look what we got there. Our red footage has more contrast is more saturated and looking as a proper REC 709 footage. We are gonna do some touch-ups like white balance, tint, exposure correction and that's it. Of course, that was just quick fix. You still need to do local correction for your taste and the proper color grading if you want a different look. If you want to learn more about camera gears, video editing and color grading, check my other videos. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and see you later.